What's up, y'all? This is your guy Q, Carolina Streets TV. Now, we don't officially come on until 2017, but we had to let you know, you have to get out there and vote. Now, the early voting is over, but you still got an opportunity to cast your vote on November 8th. Remember, if you don't vote, you have no voice. So all you young people out there with the opportunity now to get out there and vote, this is the time to do it. Yo, this is your guy Q, we right here on Shaw University's campus. I got two young ladies with me who had came out and voted. When you went out and voted, how did it make you feel, first of all? Well, um, it made me feel really good. Well, it was my first time voting because I just turned 18. And, well, I didn't like the candidate, so. So I, what candidate did you vote for? I voted for Hillary. I feel like she wants us to have a good future. We're planning for the future and not just today, so. Now, you know Donald Trump. Now, he went to a black church. Yeah. Okay, you, you ever see that on the footage? When he was at the black church and he yeah, was standing there? Now, a lot of people said that he was just front. He was standing there with his head like this here. A lot of people saying, well, he was thinking about, well, I can't wait till I get out of this black church. Now, do you agree with that? Do you, do you think Donald Trump basically was fronting in front of everybody, in front of the cameras because he's a black church? Yeah, of course. A lot of people agree to that. All right, this is Paige right here. Now, how old are you, Paige? 18. This is your first time voting, too? Yes. Okay, what did y'all vote at? Did you vote downtown? Um, I voted at Travis, Travis Park. Did you? Yeah. Wow, because it was packed over there the other day. Drove by there, everybody was over there. Now, when you voted, how did you feel when you voted for the I, first time? I felt proud of myself. I felt like I'm making a change, and making a difference in the world. So how you gonna feel if Donald Trump gets in the White House? I'm gonna be very upset because I know that he's not for the people, and I know that he's not trying to work with the minorities, and I feel like it's best for um, Hillary to be in office because she's for the people. She's mm -hmm. trying to make tuition free for college, and she's just, she's basically working with the younger people and the older people too. Now, you know, now, Ivanka Trump, okay? <laughs> now, personally to me, Ivanka Trump is, is, a, is, is just not some person I can see as the first lady. I just can't see it. Now, you know she had this reputation of ripping off uh, Michelle Obama's speech. Mm -hmm. Okay, she was doing it. It's the exact thing. Oh, no, she didn't tell her. Oh, no, we didn't take that. Yes, she did. Now, how would you feel if this woman becomes your first lady? Now, let's just put it out there. Donald Trump wins. He's the president. How you gonna, would you watch TV knowing this lady is your first lady? Would you watch her to see what she's gonna say or would you turn the channel? Turn the channel. Now why would you turn the channel? But she may have something to say for minorities. Well first because she um, plagiarized for, um, Michelle Obama's mm -hmm. you know, paper, yes. So I feel like she's just probably gonna plagiarize everything else. Man, you agree with her? I agree. Absolutely. And that's why we have to get the minority vote out there. Everybody get out there and vote. As I said a thousand times and a thousand times, if you do not vote, your voice is not important. We have to make sure we vote on November 8th. I want to thank you, Paige, and Anaya. Anaya. I ain't see no A up there. I thought it was in. In I-Y-Y-A. Okay, Q can't spell. It's all good. But I appreciate these young ladies taking a second to uh, holler at everybody and let them know about the vote. Remember, the African American vote is truly important. November 8th, get out there and vote and let your voice Period. be heard. We'll talk to you, Peter. Because remember, the choice that is made November 8th is a choice we're going to have to live with for the next four years. So everybody get out there and vote. It's very important. This is your man Q, Carolina Streets TV. Right. Well, you gotta do, okay, you got to get that enthusiasm now. You got to be like, hi, I'm, I'm Paige, and I'm Zion, and this is Carolina Street TV. How have y'all do it? Okay. All right, All right, 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 right. right. my name is Paige, and I'm Anaya. But y'all, no, no, no. No, look, I feel like we got to, it's forced, like, we got to just. Just be it. natural. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just be yourself. Okay. 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 Yeah, like Donald Trump standing right here looking, and as soon as you mess up, he's going to be president. That's how you do it. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, my name is Paige. And my name is Anaya. And this is Carolina Street TV. TV.